Apparently I have a tail now. Hey everybody, what's up? This is Joshua Williams from Regular Josh One. What's going on? Well, I did it. I actually did it. Trust me, it wasn't easy. I had to sit through two 30-minute slots of that stupid... You know, I really hope that you guys appreciate what I do for you. Because trust me, I, I have to watch stupid, stupid crap that I don't want to watch at all. And that's mostly just to review for you guys. Well, yeah, nobody asks me to do that stuff, but I still do it anyways. Why? A few reasons. Because I know that you guys want me to do these reviews or brands of some of these shows, and I pretty much just want to watch it just so I know what the show is exactly going to be like. Even if I already know that the show is going to be absolutely terrible, I just go ahead and watch it just to see what it's going to be like. Either I do a review of it or not. Honestly, to me, what makes a good reviewer is a person that's actually able and willing to actually sit through a lot of crap and actually base their review off of the stuff that they saw. If you judge a show just based on what you've seen from the commercials and you don't even take the chance or want to even watch the show or whatever, you're not going to be able to have a lot to actually back up your opinions with the show. Hence the reason why I sat through... Breadwinners. To be honest, the entire time when I was watching this show, I pretty much had a blank expression on my face the entire time. And then when the stupid stuff happened, that's when I go nuts. I'm not really going to be talking about the episodes in this video at all. Why, you may ask? Because to me, the episodes seem exactly the same. Plus, there's barely any plot to it anyways. I mean, the first episode was about these ducks selling bread to a bad part of town. The second part was about this magic toaster guy genie hybrid. I don't know. There was a joke they actually made in this episode, which I will get to later. Third episode was about having a smelly beak. And the fourth episode was about them finding a baby monster with three butt cheeks. I'm not kidding, those are the episodes. Now if you just look at the first two episodes of this series, you can already tell the first problems with the show. It never takes a break. There is always loud noise, something crazy going on, and, and you can't take this cartoon seriously. I mean, every time when something bad happens or dramatic or whatever, these characters, the main characters, always has this ridiculous reaction. It's, it's always something crazy out of these people. I mean, I know this show is probably intended to be hyper, but it's too hyper. The kids are probably not going to be able to understand or follow what's going on in the show at all. I mean, at least give Sanjay and Craig credit. At least you can kind of understand what's going on in their show, even though the cartoon still sucks. Here is the huge part that I find that's the problem with the show. It tries too hard to be funny. I mean... Seriously, almost every single minute in each episode, you will see that they will try to throw in one thing to go ahead and try to make you laugh. And most of the time, it doesn't work. Here is a joke that they mostly, mostly use. <laughs> That's an overstatement. Always use in every single episode. Butt jokes and fart jokes. Yeah, I mean, where else have I seen that before? But that's not the only problem with this. They use these butt and fart jokes over and over and over again. It's like the show will die off if they stop using these jokes. There is one joke that they also use almost all the time where Badoose, this duck right here, which, let's be honest, it sounds like his name is Badoosh, explodes every single time when he gets scared or when something bad happens. Now, I'm pretty sure there are going to be a few kids that are laughing at that, though, but trust me, they will get very bored easily of that joke. Because it's in, it's almost in like every single episode. Every single episode that I've seen, he's been exploding. It's like... It's not funny. And then there's also something else that they mostly do in almost every single episode, which involves their butts. They twerk. Why? 
I don't, I don't know, it's a trend, that's all I got. For some reason, twerking has become a trend ever since late 2013. I mean, twerking has been along for a long time, but for some reason, late last year, it became a trend. Just like how selfies are turning into a trend now. Why? I don't know, YOLO something. Okay, so back to the cartoon. Honestly, I don't think I have that much to say about it anymore. Don't even get me started on the animation. I already talked about it in my other video, I am not talking about that again. The only thing that I can really say about this show is that the characters Bidoof and Shui Shui, okay, honestly, who came up with these names? Are one of the most obnoxious characters ever. But speaking of obnoxious, almost every single cartoon on Nickelodeon is absolutely obnoxious. We got Rabbit's Invasion, Spongebob, Sanjay and Craig, this show. Now here is something that all these four shows actually have in common. One, they all have butt jokes. However, Sanjay and Craig and Breadwinners both have fart jokes. Yeah, because apparently Nickelodeon only thinks that kids actually find butt jokes and fart jokes funny. They even have a commercial saying that farts will always be funny. They're not. But you want to know how bad it's gotten? Like, seriously? I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys actually know about that whole fart game that they were coming up with on Nickelodeon. But this has to do with breadwinners and what they've done in their cartoon. And this is the joke that I was talking about. So Bedus and Sway Sway happened to go ahead and actually summon that toaster guy that I've been talking about. And Bedus asks him the question, do you poop? Just keep listening, it gets worse. So, after he asks that, the guy says, Of course I poop. Everybody poops. And then Badu says, I bet it smells like freshly baked bread. Are you serious? Why would anybody ask that sort of question? I mean, seriously, that's not funny! I mean, what if I brought my crazy cartoon series back, and then when Pikachu and Pignite are having a conversation, I put this in. So, you're a Pignite. That's pretty cool. Yep. I mean, it's a pretty big thing. I mean, you're at your second stage, then you're gonna- Do you poop? What? Well, Why I... would you ask that? I just wanted to know. You don't just ask things like that. I mean, that's just weird. Well, I'm pretty sure your poop is in the shape of a lightning bolt. I'm out of here. See? It's freaking weird and random. And it's not funny. Now, here's the last thing that I do want to say. I know that there's going to be a few people on here that's going to stoop upon this video, and then they're going to go ahead and say, Oh, but Josh, this show was meant for kids. Of course you're not going to like it. Oh, oh, okay, okay, let's actually get something straight here. Just because a show is made for kids, that doesn't mean that an adult or a teenager can enjoy it. I mean, I don't get how people come up with this notion where if the show is made for a certain demographic, another person of another demographic can't enjoy it. I don't even know where the heck that even came from! Also, when people say things like, this show is made for kids, well, technically they're kind of saying that kids only like shows that are kind of stupid and obnoxious and something like the show that I'm talking about. Which is not true. Sure, there are some kids out there that are going to like crazy cartoons like this, and I get that, and that's what they like, and it's not my business, and I get that. However, there's also going to be a lot of kids out there that don't like shows like this. And this is something that I think people tend to ignore, or just to be ignorant about it. Kids are actually a lot more intelligent than we give them credit for. I mean, feeding them crap like this? It's not helping their intelligence. I mean, seriously, we should be trying to make cartoons that are actually smarter to kids or something that ki a kid can watch and don't feel stupid watching it. I mean, okay, some kids might not feel stupid watching these cartoons, but you know, these, these cartoons are just nothing but crap, especially what Nickelodeon has on their channel. I mean, it's really bad for a network hearing that one of their cartoons Spongebob Squarepants, that's been around for a long time, is actually making kids' IQs go down. That is bad and embarrassing for the network. To actually hear that a cartoon is lowering the IQs of kids? That's telling you something! It just tells you how bad the cartoon really is and 
you know, and that's another thing. When it comes to kids that may not be as intelligent as others, I don't think showing them shows like this is actually going to do them that good anyways. I don't know. That's just me, and that's just my opinion. I know I said that that was going to be the last thing, but the last thing I also do want to say, just to clear things up, if you're a person who is a subscriber to me, or you're just a newcomer, you just happen to stoop into one of my videos, and you happen to actually like this show, I'm not going to judge you. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. You can like whatever you like. I'm not the person who can control that. I can't control what anyone likes. You can't control what I like. You can't control what anyone likes. I mean, if you happen to come across this video and think that I'm hating you for liking this show, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm just saying my opinions on this show, which I freaking hate. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm going to still be watching a few more episodes just to see exactly if it gets worse or if it gets a tiny bit better, which I'm pretty sure it's going to go worse. But we'll just have to see. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be talking about it. I'm not going to be doing what some of the other ranchers on YouTube does when they, you know, just have a part two, even though I did do that with Dora the Explorer, but that's because I wanted to try something new on this YouTube channel. So, yeah, pretty much. Now, here's something that I actually do want to do that's also new to this channel. It's when I actually finish a review, I go ahead and give it a rating. Like, say, the, the cartoon. Like, say, maybe, I guess, five stars or something out of ten. In this cartoon, I give it a 1 out of 5. That is bad. I mean, if you look at CommonSenseMedia.com, they gave this show either 1 or 2 stars. That's... that just tells you something. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta really say about Breadwinners. It's just... Oh, my goodness. I don't know what to say. I'm done. Okay, so anyway, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. My next video will be about the KCAs and the nominees list that they have. I will be featuring somebody else, and his name is David, and he's going to be in Pony. Yeah. Well, once again, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. And if you excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and brush out my tail. I mean, I've gotten frizzy all of a sudden. I mean, look at this thing. It's just goodness. Stupid show! Thank you.